my present uh, study is uh, the, the, the topic of distancing. Distancing, we must not, not just want to impose our own values on others, but we have to keep a, a kind of respect and distance to others and also to ourselves to learn anew, to uh, overcome the tensions we uh, have at present. You know that in, in the Western world, there is uh, the, 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 the saying of China as a systemic rival. I think this is a very uh, misleading concept, but it's followed very much at present. And I think we should overcome these misconceptions. And they are also misconceptions, not only on China, but also misconceptions on, on the European self. So I think one topic is uh, that comes from uh, Aristotle and Confucius. And I think one topic is the real uh, unification of politics and ethics. This is very, very important today because uh, we can see globally in the whole world that there is a divorce in most times between politics and ethics. Politicians care about other things, not so much of ethics. So both for Confucius and Aristotle, it's very important to uh, practice politics, uh, taking into account virtues and uh, all this uh, that uh, ethics demands from men. What and you're saying is that we have uh, in fact, in our history, rich uh, heritage of wisdoms. What we are doing now is throwing some of them away, uh, well knowing that we're in urgent need of them. So it's unfortunate, but I'm so glad we have a reminder from you, Professor. Thank you. Uh, just um, to think of another example, to go to other thinkers also, uh, there are this Greek school which moves into the Roman period, the Stoics. And there is a sense of cosmopolitanism we can learn from. That's late antiquity. And we can learn about how people felt as you know, members of this world that was falling apart, that the ancient city-state was falling apart at the time. And people developed a philosophy which led to tranquility. Tranquility of the mind, ataraxia is the word. That's something that Zhuangzi, another one, a Chinese author I like, I think, aimed at some of that. And there is mutual learning. I mean, we can learn about social harmony and cohesion from the Chinese tradition, from Confucius. The Chinese may learn some things about the very critical spirit of the ancient Greeks and a little more individualistic emphasis on liberties.